Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say with grateful hearts, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, friends, today is August the 17th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, are you feeling blessed this morning? I'm really, are you feeling blessed? Is your heart warm thinking on Jesus, experiencing the full blessing of God, ready to walk in the Spirit and be obedient to the things that He requests, He commands of you today? I trust that you are feeling blessed, refreshed, hopeful, and joyful about the things that you're going to experience with your God this day. Well, friends, our text is going to be found in Luke this morning, and we are going to look at chapter 6 and verse 40. Now, before we read our text, I want to continue a thought that we've discussed in the previous day or two, and that would be walking with Jesus physically. Have you ever stopped to really think about that? I mean, when Jesus came into the life of the disciples and they understood who he was and how holy he was, can you not imagine them living in the best way that they could? And so might you and I, friends, if we were to walk with Jesus beginning today, physically be able to walk with him, and he was with us every step of the way throughout our day, we would be on our P's and Q's. We might not use the same language that we are accustomed to or that we normally use. We may not treat people in the same way. We may not watch the same things that we normally watch or read the same things that we normally read or talk about the same things that we normally talk about. But that would only last for a very short time because our real selves are going to expose themselves. And we see this in the life of the disciples when they're arguing who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom when they get there, who's going to be the most accepted, who's going to sit on the right hand of the Father. We see Peter and we know just from human nature After several times of being rebuked by the Lord, which I'm sure we know of one time when he was rebuked by the Lord, but there were many times when Peter spoke out and realized that he had spoken too quickly. And so I'm sure when Peter woke up in the morning, he he told himself, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But that wasn't naturally who Peter was. And so as he began to speak, before he knew it, he had said something that he should not have said. He had acted in a way that he should not have acted. He leaped out of the boat, ready to walk on the water, but once realizing that he was out on the water, immediately began to sink. And Peter was known for these presumptuous actions and these presumptuous words he would often speak without thinking. And so it would be for you and I, friends. The first couple of days that we were walking with the Lord, we might keep everything under the rug, so to speak. But eventually, these things are going to come out. And that's why we need someone higher than us that will bring us to the same height that they are at. You see, if we're always around people who are beneath us, then we never have a goal to achieve. And very likely, we might descend to where they're at because that's where the comfort level is. But having a teacher or a shepherd motivates us to push ourselves to reach their level of achievement. And that's what our text talks about today. In verse 40 of chapter 6 of Luke, it says the disciple is not above his master. Well, that's obvious. The teacher is always going to know more, both from intellectually and experience. And so the pupil, the student, is always excelling to reach the level of their master. But when they reach the desired level of their master, they have to realize that the master is at an even higher level now. And so we're always ascending, pushing ourselves to reach that level. And so the text says the disciple is not above his master, 
but everyone that is perfect or fully instructed shall be as his master. You see, that's our goal. And so when Jesus took these disciples on, these 12 rugged men, fishermen and tax collectors, some of the most despicable men of their time, when he took them under his wing and patiently began to work with them throughout a three-year period, he saw all their inconsistencies. He saw all their mistakes. And they knew that he saw these inconsistencies and these mistakes. And yet he patiently worked with them, prodded them, pushed them to leave those characteristics, those attitudes, those mindsets, those practices behind and to ascend to a higher level. And that's what we're doing, friends, as followers of Jesus. And we often forget that because he's not physically present beside us each moment, but he is here in spirit. As we talked about a few, a few days ago, he said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And so he is here. Each and every word that we say, each and every thought that we think, each and every action that we do, he is present for all of these things. But how different would we react if we knew, if we physically saw him every moment by our side? You know and I know things would be much different, but they would only be different for a little while because what's really in our heart will come out. We're only going to be able to bite our tongue. We're only going to be able to keep our anger down. We're only going to keep the resentment, the jealousy, the pride, the envy. All of these things can only remain hidden for so long, and eventually they're going to expose themselves. And as they expose themselves, our teacher is there in our lifetime. He is there through his word. And as we read his word, as we study his word, he gently reminds us, that's not acceptable. That's not becoming of one of my followers. And so I want you to give all your effort, all your time, all your attention to get that out of your life. I will provide you the power to do it, but you're going to have to be the one that bites your tongue. You're going to have to be the one that turns the TV off. You're going to have to be the one that gets off of Facebook. You're going to have to be the one that opens your Bible. You're going to have to be the one that bends your knee. You're going to have to be the one that disciplines yourself in all these areas of your life so that holiness truly does become a way of life for you. That's what it means to walk with the master. That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus. And that's what it means to do what our text has told us, that we should strive to be perfect as our master is perfect. And so, friends, I simply remind you of this this morning because I don't want you to be caught in the trap of saying, well, I'm only human. Well, what do you expect? That's a crutch. Push yourself to excellence. Because you are capable of it. Why do I know that? Because he gave you his spirit. And when the spirit of the living God lives within you, you have the power to accomplish things that you do not even now realize. But you must push yourself and discipline yourself to reach that level of excellence. And when you think you have arrived and you look back and you see how far you have come, Simply turn your head the other direction and look how far you still have to go because the pupil is not above his master. And that should bring joy to our hearts that we have a master that is so pure, so perfect, that we will never reach his status, but we can strive to. He has commanded us to do that. Do you remember in Matthew chapter 7, he says, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven, is perfect. That's not a suggestion, friends. It's a command. May each of us work to do that each and every day. Please pray for me that I will, friends, and I'll continue to pray for you as well. Now, I love you. I'm so grateful that you're here this morning. I'm so grateful that you're hungry for the Word of God, and you're desperately seeking to find truth. And I'm glad that God led you here, and I pray and I trust that the Holy Spirit is doing a great work in your life 
turning you into a true disciple of the Lord Jesus. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.